Hey guys, Josh Gull here with more Twilight Princess. We're hanging out with Agatha today. <laughs> no, I just came in to get a bit more money because one of the mini games we're going to do is probably going to require a lot from us. <laughs> Maybe, because it's a skill related thing. <laughs> Have you brought bugs that Agatha's Princess Agatha's Ball? Alright, so let's hand in the stick bug, the phase mid. Phasmid. Here, have this. <laughs> oh, hey boy, who's your friend? You're a little cute phasmid, aren't you? You little cutie. Little phasmid. Little phasmid. I want to tie your long antenna into bows. Um, well, I think you'd pull them off before you do that. And here we have 50 rupees. Now, I want to I wanna at least get to like 500 or something, so I can give her a couple more. Let's give her the second phasmid. Here you go. Thank you for saying the exact same thing, and thanks for the 100 rupees. Uh, probably... Yeah, it works out pretty good. We'll just give her one more combo. <laughs> we only have like two more. Oh no, we have three more, okay. Well, let's give her the grasshopper. The grasshopper, you want the grasshopper? Have the grasshopper. Oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little male grasshopper, aren't you? You little cutie, little grasshopper, little grasshopper. I love to tickle your belly all day long. <laughs> What did that have to do with Grasshopper in specifically? Like, couldn't you do that with every bug? Just tickle its belly for no reason? Whatever. <laughs> Man, if she has weird, like, bug fetishes, like, I don't care, really. Just give me my rupees. You know, I help you. You scratch my back. We're all good. Okay. And with that, man, that's a lot of rupees. What the hell am I going to do with all those rupees? <laughs> when you hand her the bugs, they actually appear in the room, so... As you can imagine, if you give her all the bugs, there's a lot of bugs in that room. Okay. So, uh, oof. so what's the fastest way to get to the Zora's domain? Because that's pretty much where we need to go. Well, that is a good question, I ask myself. Well, I think since we can't warp, the fastest way to go would be to head up to the north area and blow up those rocks that were leading to the Zora's Domain up there because that, that's a pretty nice and fast way to get back there and since we have bombs we have no problem doing that and with a Pono it's a nice short ride well sort of short there's a rock there I could blow it up oh style actually no stop get those rupees before they disappear no get out of my way blublin Michael Buble actually do these things disappear I don't even know Let's just pick him up quickly to be safe. Ow. <sighs> I used to be an adventurer like you, Michael Buble. But then I took a flaming arrow in the knee. And then I got the heck out of there. Very short ride. So there's actually been like a couple of caves that I've passed, and there's really nothing stopping them from stopping us from doing those now. But the reason I don't want to do them now is because they're well, it's like I don't want to spoil this a side quest, but I've mentioned this side quest before, and until later we won't be able to do it, so there's not much point in me doing these caves now when we won't be able to get everything, so I'll just have to go back later. So we may as well wait till later, so we only have to do them once. Which totally makes sense. Oh, I totally fell off a opponent there. Three bloody tech tights. Ah, uh, wait—is this the first time we've seen tech tights? I don't think so. They appear, yeah, they appear pretty early in like Ocarina of Time, but no, not till late here. Oh no, it won't. No, weren't they in the second dungeon? I think they were. All right. Well, I better take. Actually, yeah. No, I equip it. I equip the bombs. Oh, it's like. B, right? I was pressing the complete wrong button. How, how dumb can you get? Fire in the hole! Excellent. Is that going to give me some rupees? Nope. Oh, well. I was, I was, I'm not doing it for the rupees, man. I'm doing it to secure a good checkpoint to get to Zora's Domain. So this just leads to Do Zora's Domain, and we can just do a quickly, quickie little U-turn here to get to that... Ah. Uh, Okay, you see that up there? Oh, that's one of them. I can't get to it. It's annoying me. It's like, I want to get it. I can't. That, yeah, that, that's one of the things. That's one of them. It's a po. And we have to get a lot of them. 60. No, wait, it's not 60. No, it is 60. Or is it 60? I can't remember right now. I'm pretty sure it's 60. Shoot me if I'm wrong. All right, but here we are. This is the area I wanted to get to, actually. Stupid bowler. There's like nothing even in these. I just want to blow them up for the sake of that. Like the fact that they're there, they just, they just need to die. 
Oh man, we're like one off max. Can I get to max? Apparently not, because there is no single rupees. Oh, there we go. We are capped at 600 rupees, and that should be plenty for me to spend at location. Hey, that's a that's a golden bug right there. Actually, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah, Gale Boomerang. Yeah, there's one here, and the second one of these is actually up in Zora's domain. Hey, come here. But we may as well get this one here now, right? No reason to wait. If I could actually get the thing. There we go. Oh, <laughs> a dragonfly. That's pretty cool. Alright, so like I just said, the second one of those is up in Zora's domain. Alright, so <laughs> the first mini game I think we're going to do is I think we're going to just like grind out the whole of the fishing hole. So get ready, guys. This is going to be a home for like a couple episodes now because unlike Ocarina of Time's fishing hole, there's quite a few things to do here. And it's pretty, pretty intricate, if I had to say. Alright, so. The uh, first thing about the fishing hole, it has seasons. We are currently in uh, spring, or no, the cherry blossom colored leaves means spring, I'm pretty sure. To change the seasons, all you have to do is enter and exit the fishing hole, and you pretty much always want it to be summer if you're catching fish, so if it's not summer, just go in and out until it's summer. Now, okay, but before we do anything else though, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to get rid of... Why would you even equip that by itself? Huh. Oh, you can use it by itself. That's pretty... Actually, that's kind of interesting. It's sort of like the... Um... Like the telescope from Wind Waker or something when you use it by itself. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to do some bobber fishing in this little hole thing here now. It looks like there's a lot of little fishy here, but I'm not doing it for the fish. I'm... There's something really important here, and I'm... Not really sure... Yeah, there's a bottle here. This one's really easy to miss because nothing, like, there's a, I'm pretty sure there's something somewhere that hints towards this being here, but I don't, like, there's this sign that says, it's like, don't throw away your shit. Do not toss empty bottles or cans here. The fish are crying. Keep the fishing hole clean. See, that, that's pretty much your only clue is an empty bottle there. But, uh, yeah, we got that. And the other thing that's in the fishing hole that is very interesting is, if I can see it from here... I uh, don't think I can. There's a piece of heart somewhere, which is... Like, there, it's right there. Actually, we can... Oh, I was going to say, if, I would use the Hawkeye if we still had it equipped. But no, I do not have it equipped. So, yeah, but we're not actually going to be fishing right now. There is a... Believe it or not, there is another mini game here that does not involve fishing inside the fishing house. And it's one of the... It's one of the most cruel, yet still somehow fun... Whoa, whoa he's shocked. Somehow fun mini games in the game. Father Princess being the game. That's a pretty disappointing tank there. Hi there! Hey, you! You've never been here before, have you? Well, I'm the owner of this fishing hole. My name's Hina. Nice to meet ya! Well, I don't have to talk to her. But you can look at things here and she'll tell you about them. That's a special fish tank, just for my customers. I'm fond of those green grill... Grill... <laughs> grills? <laughs> yep, the green grills, alright. Of course. But if you catch anything, I'll toss it in too. Of course, I don't want to encourage overfishing, so I only keep the biggest of each fish type that gets brought in. Alright, tell, so tell me about this fabulous picture. <laughs> you can see, that's like the fishing guy from Ocarina of Time. Like, that's a nice little reference there. That's one of Hyrule's legendary master fishermen. Look, he's got a Hylian lurch, doesn't he? He may just be one of my ancestors. I totally read that wrong. Of course, I can't exactly prove that. It's kind of just wishful thinking on my part. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here we have Afro Guy. He does fishing. That's my older brother, Koro. Whoa, they're brothers and sisters. And a 25-inch Auden catfish he caught. He's the only one in our family who, <laughs> who's lousy at fishing. He only managed to catch that by using a sinking lure. Cheater. Ooh. Yeah, so like sinking lure is like taboo here. If you use one of those, you're like the devil. <laughs> that's me and my first fish I caught here. A 28-inch Hylian pike. Well, that's pretty big. I swear, I'll never forget that day. Such sweet memories. Alright, here we have Afro Chick. <laughs> That's my oldest sister. That shot is from the day she caught herself a 17-inch Hyrule Bass. Not that interesting. Her name's Isa, by the way. Make sure you drop by her boat rental shop sometime, okay? Yeah, I certainly will because we can get some cool stuff from there too. And here is her. That's the 22-inch Hyrule base I caught. B bigger than hers. It's not very big, but it's a fish I spotted and caught all by myself, so I took that picture. Alright, maybe we can get on this wall someday. <laughs> so what's a... That's a... <laughs> this is great. Come on, look at that. Look at her hat. 
That's mine. You know, it's generally considered polite to take your hat off when you come indoors. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm never taking my crazy... This is, is this even a hat? It's like... I wouldn't even classify this as a hat. It's like a pointy magical thing and you like look at her pots. <laughs> What's your story? Aren't you a little young to be interested in jar collecting? Oh, I'm not interested in jar collecting. I don't want those to get broken, so I store them up and out of the way. Ah, oh, she's a smart one. Okay, but anyway, wait, did, like some kind of fire just go out or something? I swear it just got darker in here. All right, anyway, I, this is what I want to look at right here. Here it is. Oh, that caught your eye, did it? I made that game, you know. I gave it a really fun name too. Roll goal. It costs five rupees to play, but you win ten rupees, you make it to the goal. Well, so wanna play? I guess. Let's do it. The rules are simple. Tilt Wii Remote to roll the glass ball along the path all the way to the goal within the time limit without dropping the ball. You can change the angle of the camera with a uh, nunchuck stick, so use that well. Ready? Press A to start. Okay, uh. Yeah, so the Wii version of this game makes you use the Wii, you know, tilting using the Wii Motes Accelerometer, which is like really unreliable. Because uh, it's just this mini game though, like the, the thing itself actually works pretty good because they like program this so lazy though, it's really bad. But I'm sure I made that look like super easy. Roll goal, congrats, here's your prize of 10 rupees. Too bad I can only take none of it. <laughs> well, you cleared it. Guess I'll have to make a new course for the next time you drop in. Promise you'll play it, okay? So what we need to do is enter an exit and there are 10 courses we need to clear to get something not super important, but you know, 100%, so gotta get everything. All right, round two of roll goal. <laughs> The best part of roll goal is entering and exiting the house. No, no, all right. So let's see if I can keep my winning streak up. Level one, two. All right, here we are. Pretty simple. Yeah, so the only reason this controls terribly, really, is because it's just, a, they like, it's such a simple port of the GameCube version that they didn't like program it accurately with the Wiimote's controls. So if this, if Twilight Princess was made like late in the Wii's life and was made to be a Wii game, this would work like much better. And you know, it might use like the Wii Motion Plus and all that jazz. But since this was like, I don't think, was Twilight Princess a launch title? I'm actually not sure. I think if it wasn't, it was bloody close. Damn, that's a pretty good launch title. <laughs> if it was, it's like, man, Nintendo like aces launch titles, don't they? Super Mario Bros. Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, like, holy shit, these are like some of the classics, and they're freaking launch titles. And that's number two cleared. And we're on a roll. <laughs> a roll goal. <laughs> oh, stop me. I'm on fire. Alright. Let's go back in for round three. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit this all in one episode, especially if I have like heaps of fail <laughs> failures, because trust me, I'm going, I'm going to. It's pretty easy now, but once they start adding the hills, oh boy, it gets hard. Alright, we remote tilting action. Duh, 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 duh. So, I'm not, I've not really explained the Wiimote's crappy, you know, I've, I've gone on about how crappy it, it is, but I haven't really explained how crappy it is. Pretty much, you can only, I haven't really found you can tilt diagonally, like at all pretty much. So you can pretty much only tilt in up, down, left or right. I'm pretty sure you can tilt diagonally, but it's so unreliable, it's like, don't even bother. It's not like there are diagonal, you know, directions to go anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, it's pretty sensitive, like, you, it's pretty much just a go stop kind of thing. There isn't like so, like, I'll start tilting it as slow as I possibly can to go up really slowly so I'm tilting it still it's not nothing's happening until yeah so there's like a dead zone if that makes any sense so you have to kind of tilt it a bit before it'll even do like anything at all which is kind of annoying because when you're trying to be really delicate that doesn't help sort of like aiming in Wind Waker if you ask me oh Wind Waker HD I mean not the GameCube version because I'm sure the GameCube version of Wind Waker controls fine because it has a GameCube controller which has no dead spots but the Wii I've actually kind of found the Wii Pro Controller has a bit of dead spots, which kind of makes aiming in Wind Waker kind of hard, but 
I mean, if, it, if you hate it that much, you can always use the gyroscope controls, right? Which are pretty good. I thought they worked pretty good in Ocarina of Time 3D. Alright, 1-4. We're doing good. Okay, so is this the last one without the hills? I think maybe. And we haven't screwed up yet, so like we're like the best. We're like the best. We're so good that nothing can stop us unless it was like a freak accident. Like, <laughs> like she came up and hit me. <laughs> That would be that would be most crude of her. And they're like, I already paid the money, so if I screwed up, there'd be no way to get it back. So, and it's not like this place has security cameras. And I can't go to the police and say, hey, I got conned, because I don't even know if this place would be under Hyrulean jurisdiction. Ah, <laughs> uh, but nah, Hina is not gonna do that. She's like a good girl. She wouldn't she wouldn't cheat me out of my money because like I really care that much about five rupees. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have filled my rupees up too much because now I'm just I'm like losing my winnings like I'm losing five rupees every win <laughs> All right, but that was that was four right? Uh, I don't think yeah, I think I should probably wrap this up soon. Maybe Ugh. We, we can do a few more rounds if I if I don't screw up that is But I want to get to the fishing stuff though because I actually kind of enjoy fishing in this game And then we still got that piece of heart to get I cannot forget about that. I trust me. I won't forget though I love getting that one Oh, yeah, here it is, the introduction to hills. 1-5, okay, yeah, see, we've got this red part here. It's a hill. You kind of have to... See, the problem with hills is if you just, like, hold it here and tilt the Wii Remote as far as possible, it won't move up. You need to, like... Like, jack it forward and forth to get it to go up. Like, yeah, like that. That, that went alright. You see, you got these, like... Curvy bits... So I suppose diagonal would be sort of helpful here, but at the end of the day, it's just not worth trying to do diagonals with the Wii version anyway. I really actually like to kind of play the GameCube version of this game. Not just because of this, just because this is like one of my favorite games. There's a different version of it I want in. And hey, you know, I mean, they technically are the same game. So if I did have both, that'd be some kind of maybe version differences or something like that. Ooh, I love making those videos, just looking up the differences and like figuring out stuff myself because there's actually a website I use to make those version differences videos and it's actually pretty helpful it's called the cutting room floor I think I've mentioned it before though dot net uh, anyway though they don't have everything like a lot of the stuff I find myself which is it's always fun to un reveal the, the game's secrets All right this is one six all right yeah it's pretty much the same thing only one hill so it shouldn't be too hard and there's our first fail. And there's our first wasted five rupees. And how easy was that to waste? Damn hills. Ugh. You gotta be so careful with these things. You don't wanna go over. And then, the, as, you, as you saw there, my ball, my, bleh, my ball moves slightly to the right and the left. So, when you're like tilting it up and down like this, that is a problem. Come on, just. Oh shit. See, like. Yeah. Alright, why? Well, I definitely knew I wasn't going to keep up that winning streak for that long. Oh, there we go. So, this, the hills are the problem. I can pretty much ace everything that isn't those hills. But, oh my god. Level, like, shit, don't you fall off. Oh my god. I'm, I swear I almost fell off there. Level, uh, 9, I think it is. I don't think it goes up to 10. I think it only goes up to 9. That one has, like, so many hills. So, it's like, there's so many opportunities to screw up. So, I just went diagonal there for a second. Like, I'm going against my own words. <laughs> Ooh, just slowly. Yeah, yeah. Careful, careful. So as you've probably noticed, it's like, this is like level one. Six, was this six? I'm pretty sure this was six. And two six is just the exact same thing, except you have less time. And there's really no reason to do the uh, ones above one. So after you do one nine, you get to two one. It's not worth doing, because the only reason, like you don't get anything for doing that. And it goes up to like, I don't remember exactly, but I think it goes up to like nine. Nine or something crazy like that. So you leave for ages just playing like roll goal and like it's fun It's not that fun though. All right. This is probably the last one we do this episode though Oh, so this is, this is all this one pretty much is is two hills Actually, no, it only goes to eight actually. Yeah. All right. Never mind. I'd totally remember that eight not nine All right get up the hill Actually, just go back. No, I see you can't go back The only way to go back is to tilt the bloody yeah or do that <laughs> And honestly, I think it's easier to 
just get over it the first time. If, like, if I get stuck in the middle, I'm just like, eh, fuck it, I lose. Now... These sideward ones are annoying. Ha ha ha! Of course, if it pisses me off that much, I could always... That was I said that was gonna be the last one, but since we got cleared it so bloody quickly, it's like, fuck it, we're gonna do... We're gonna try and see if we can't do eight. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, what? What was I talking about? Something about... Right, yeah, you can actually, like, flip the camera with the nunchuck. You, <laughs> you thought I forgot about that? No, I just can't be stuffed, because it's just a waste of time. Yeah, here it is. This is the hardest one. 1-8. One, How many failures will we have? I don't know. Alright. Careful. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing because uh, I was chatting with like a friend when he first introduced me to Roll Goal, like fucking Shogun Gino, and I told him I beat 8 in 1 go and he didn't believe me, and I said, damn, I should have recorded that, and then I said when I actually went to go do the real thing, I wouldn't do it in 1 go, but there you fucking go, 1 fucking go, yeah! <laughs> I am the Roll Goal Master! Now we've gone over that celebrating, wait, shit, I, f I totally forgot to actually, well, she actually, I'm pretty sure she said something different there, so... If you guys want to pause that and read it, <laughs> you can. Uh, um, we just gained access to the frog lure for beating that, which is an important lure because that's the only way to catch the Hylian loach, which uh, we will be doing because that's a fun. Anyway, though, <laughs> of that crazy note of success, see you guys next time.